We are currently standing here within Copper Leaf Lifestyle and Golf Estate. This is an estate that includes a spa golf course with 18 different holes, a gym, pools, as well as clubhouse. Behind me is an 8.7 million rand, four bedroom, three bathroom, absolutely stunning country home and I'm going to be taking you right through it. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Now, coming down the stairs, you're greeted by this stunning view across the pool, and we'll be showing you that later. You'll want to stay tuned to it. But here we are, one of my favorite places, the bar area. Plenty of space here, both under counter for all of your liquors that you'd like to hide away from thieving little producers like myself. And above counter, like right here, you can put up a beautiful wine rack showcasing your collection. I like how behind me you've got some over counter storage as well. And then this beautiful marble countertop for you to sit and enjoy some drinks with friends and family. And that then leads in, this whole home is very, very open plan into your living room slash your sitting room area. So much space here. You can see just how big this area rug is. And talking about area rug, I love the tiles. But then behind me, You've got aluminum framed door leading out into your garden with some windows there and then these stackable glass doors that open all the way wide, letting in so much light and letting in so much air. Absolutely love it. Coming across just above me, massive skylight letting in so much light down there. Really cool design feature. And then here we are within the kitchen. As I mentioned, very open plan. So, so easy to go from your kitchen into either your sitting room, bar area or the dining room area in front of me. But right here, five top gas burner really really nicely done with a glass backing that is ultra fancy underneath smeg's oven and then you've got another smeg oven and a smeg microwave here almost again a staple for homes of this quality chefs prep sink we need one of these along this huge island and a really cool feature that we don't see so often are these pop-up plug points so you can just pull it out and then hide them right away so that's really cool and so space saving let me Yank that back out and reconnect what I hope was not the internet. But moving across this way, we've got another floating cabinet just rising up and just below these sliding glass windows that are really cool. Storage again above, storage underneath there and storage right over here. So if you're big on cooking, this home is for you. Stunning lighting all built into the ceiling, which we do like. And here we are within the pantry. I mean, can we ever not have a pantry? We've got over counter storage, under counter storage places for all of your appliances. And then again, what is most certainly needed is the double sink. And this time with one of those handy swivel nozzles that extend and retract, saving you quite a bit of space. Going on this way, you go into a two car garage. Now there is another two car garage on the other side of the home. So very, very easy for you to store your car collection. Behind me, wine, you'll know I'll sniff it out like a bloodhound and then some more storage over there and an aluminum door leading out onto your front courtyard there. Oh, beautiful home, so much light. It's so nice to have a home that's flooded with natural light. It really does liven you up and give you so much energy. And that's exactly what you're gonna want when you're sitting here at this 10 seater dining room table. It just shows you how well utilized space is in this home to fit a 10 seater like this. Love the design of the table. I know we don't usually talk about furniture, but what a nice table, beautiful chairs, so much space right over here more inbuilt recesses for you to use as you see fit maybe you'd like to put a gas grill in here you can do it let's take a look chimney right above so there we go you can put in a nice gas oven there 
and walk right out onto your pool when need be. But we're still gonna get to this pool. Take a look at that view. So outside courtyard area, so much indoor outdoor space, specifically with all of these sliding doors. Love how it's been designed. Love the air, love the light. Guys, I'd really like to hear in the comments what you think about homes designed like this, letting in all that light, letting in all that air. Do you like it? Are there other designs you like more? Let me know. Here we are, easily. My favorite feature is this incredible pool area. You've got a view of the whole golf course and when those sprinklers are on over there, it is such a sight to see. Stunning view, I could definitely catch a tan eye chance. Take a look at this. These glass doors are not the usual stackable glass doors you see, they are completely frameless. So when you walk into the home, and even if you've closed these glass doors in winter time, you know you're gonna get an uninterrupted and incredible view of this stunning golf course in front of you. And because it's a golf course, you know you never need to worry about anything being built in front of you. So I love that. And now coming this way, if I hop across the pool, you've got a sun deck right over here for you to sit down, relax with friends, family, and enjoy summer. We're moving into this, I love the season. Full on garden right over here for you to stretch your legs, but that, surmises the downstairs area. So let's not be shy, let's invite ourselves upstairs, up that lovely staircase and take a look at what the top floor where all of the bedrooms are located. Come on, let's follow me. So if we take a quick jog up these stairs here, we find ourselves in the first bedroom located, I'd say on the middle floor. And here we are, huge, huge bed, so much light coming in from those sliding doors leading out onto the garden area and plenty of space here for you to throw in a nice lounger or small couch for this to turn into a place for your guests to sit down, relax, maybe read a book. And should they be staying for long, you've got plenty of cupboard space right here to house any clothes and an ensuite bathroom right over here. So let's take a look at this bathroom and then let's walk outside and give you a quick peek at what the other set of garages look like as well as your guest toilet located right by the front door. So your guest bathroom is standard affair, albeit very, very upmarket within this home. You've got a fully glass fronted walk-in shower with your vanity sitting atop a cabinet that is floating, hinged off the wall. You've got another one of those really cool hidden system toilets tucked away on the left hand side. And again, plenty of light as well as privacy from the frosted glass windows. Coming out of the guest bedroom, tucked away just by the front door and by the other access to the second half of the four car garage, you'll find your guest toilet. Now your guest toilet has another floating single vanity with a mirror just above it and a cool hidden system toilet tucked away on the far side just below some windows. Now, coming out of the guest wing, we've got the remainder of the stairs to follow up. Stunning lighting running the length of the stairs, illuminating it. If you've taken a jog up here in the twilight or in the evenings and you find yourself in another sitting room area or what we like to call, or what a lot of people like to call the pajama lounge flanked on both sides by glass balustrades. It's a really cool area to sit in. You've got through those windows a view of that golf course, which you obviously like, but quite a bit of space here for you to use as you wish through that door, the creme de la creme, the master suite, and through this arch right over here, we've got the location of the other two bedrooms, full on cupboards over here, matching the cupboards downstairs in the guest wing, there's a linen cupboard down here, linen cupboards up here, let's go through this door first. Now, coming into the first bedroom located upstairs, you'll notice it is carpeted, quite high ceilings, beautiful down lighting, and two massive windows, one of them being a sliding door leading out onto a balcony, giving you exquisite views of the golf course. Both windows have roll down blinds, giving you that privacy when need be, and both bedrooms have aircon cooling you down on these hot, hot summer days. But what a massive bedroom this is. Cupboards flanking the one wall, huge solid door lending you that feeling of quality when walking through this home and as you can see king bed here that is absolutely dwarfed by the size of this room. Now there are also plug points located halfway up the walls so if you'd like to put a TV in these bedrooms you know it is done you will not need to run any wiring but that is only one bedroom out of the three upstairs so let's go to the next one. Again, coming through a beautiful door, you're greeted by these carpeted floors and aircon and all the roll down blinds, again, providing with that privacy. Now, 
there was no skimping when building this home so coming through this sliding door this room also has its very own private balcony giving you a look down on some really nice greenery from the garden there again a wall flanked by cupboards you're never going to need to worry about cupboard space yeah and a really cool feature is this eyelet window at the top providing you all the light you might need without having to worry about putting curtains over it although there are blinds built in this room instead has two single beds and again I mean way bigger than a king you can see just how much space it is here and right of here since I was talking about it there are those plug points that I say are located halfway up the wall so if you'd like to mount a TV if you don't want to go the TV cabinet route you know it is sorted and then just over here something I'd also like to mention is if you'd like to start your smart home journey this is already a step in that direction every single room has one of these control units and you can set up your lighting as well as your aircon all from one super simple place and here it is, the bathroom in the center of those two bedrooms. We've got your double vanity, massive mirror right over here, plenty of undercounter storage. Really cool, very deep bathtub. This is definitely a bathtub where you can sit down, relax, and enjoy a nice long soak. And above it, what I've come to realize is, is becoming more and more of a style in these homes are these rectangular windows that are frosted, allowing in a lot of air and a lot of light, while also giving you quite a bit of privacy. We've got a huge, glass rimmed or glass flanked walk-in shower here with not one but two rainfall heads it's really well utilized a lot of space a lot of space still in this bathroom throughout toilet tucked away in that corner again another one of those toilets with a hidden cistern which i think are so fancy but we've covered almost everything in the home the only thing left is that master suite so come on with me let's take a look at it And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the creme de la creme, the master suite in this 8.7 million rand home within Copper Leaf Country and Golf Estate. And what a room it is. You can see these rows of down lighting above us, just really emphasizing how long and wide this room is. Carpeted again, serviced by an aircon. I love the continuation of those design elements with the rectangular windows sunken into the wall. Really cool. Yeah, king bed, massive king bed, and it fits so comfortably. We've got a TV on the wall again, utilizing those mid-mounted plug points window right over here looking out onto your blue pool and green garden as well as views of the golf course over here sliding door opening up onto your very own private balcony none of the balconies in any of the rooms are shared so every single one of them is private and you can do with it as you will and then heading off this way just past the aircon that cool little port window you've got your walk-in closet so we can hit the lights we're gonna walk right in here you can see all the cupboard space that you can utilize. If you're a big aficionado or fashion, big follower, this is exactly what you need. All of the space here to tuck away all your nice goodies. Right over here, we've got another one of those rectangular windows bringing in a lot of natural light. So if you want to sit at the dresser, get ready and you need a bit of light. You don't just need to rely on what's above you. Huge mirror, which we really like. That is not all. Right over here is your ensuite master bathroom. So behind me, again, another one of those deep tubs but this one is gigantic take a look at this i mean this must be at least or nearly two meters long right over here another freestanding and enormous tub definitely the biggest one we've seen in this home i'm so tempted to hop in here throw some bubble bath and just relax in a home like this right on the golf course on a sunday it must be an incredible experience double vanity of course this is the master suite under counter storage and a whole line of wall-to-wall -wall mirrors over here for you to take a look at yourself toilet hidden system again tucked in the corner and over here a real walk-in shower i know we speak about walk-in showers quite often but absolutely zero barrier stopping you from walking into the shower double rainfall head and here in the corner frosted window allowing you an uninterrupted view of the golf course i think you need to go take a look right over there out that window and envision yourself sitting right here and enjoying a good scrub while well, it feels like you're right out there in nature 
And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, we've taken a tour around this stunning 8.7 million rand property right here in Copperleaf Country and Gulf Estate. So if you would like this home, what I'd like you to do is contact Bernice at Chenola Properties. All of her details will be in the description as well as in a banner across the screen right now. So don't hesitate to make an appointment at your soonest convenience. But for myself, Chad, the team at Private Property and everybody at the Home Shopper Show, we'd like to say thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget, if you're looking for a property, head to www.privateproperty.co.za and you can find all of the properties of agents in your area or in areas you'd like to shop in located in one quick and easy place. Use the filters and you'll find exactly what you need. So thank you once again. We'll see you next time every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. We love you and goodbye.